Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about edge triggered T flip-flop. T flip-flop is most commonly used in counting operations. T flip-flop main application is in counting operations. Binary counter or any other counters to count a number from a sequence number from 10 to 14 or a 2 to 10 like that from one number to another number in such counting operations we generally prefer this T flip-flop. So now we are going to see how this T flip-flop is going to be constructed and uh, the truth table of this T flip-flop. T flip-flop is mainly constructed from the JK flip-flop. T flip-flop is constructed from the JK flip-flop. T flip-flop is mainly constructed from the JK flip-flop. How it is constructed from the JK flip-flop? Just by short-circuiting J and K terminals and taking one input. By short-circuiting J and K terminals J and K terminals and taking a common input taking a common input as T main application is in counting oper operations main application is in counting operations okay so if you see the jk flip-flop we know jk flip-flop has two inputs j k and one clock signal this is pause to edge clock signal pause to edge clock signal and this is j this is j k and outputs are q q bar so for all the flip flops whether it is sr jk d flip flop t flip flop the outputs are two outputs will be common in all the flip flops those two outputs are q and q bar that means one output is true form and another output is complemented form so q and q bar if you make the short circuit of these two then the T flip-flop can be represented as just J sorry it is T this is actually J and K of course these two are Q1 Q bar and one clock is needed clock whenever you say a flip-flop means definitely you need a clock signal okay it may be either raising edge or falling edge positive going edge or negative going edge but definitely we need a clock signal whenever clock is there then only we can say it is a flip flop okay if it is an enable pin then we have to call that particular uh, flip uh, device as a latch if we are using enable pin then that device is known as latch if you are using a clock then the device is known as flip flop both are used for storing one bit memory location okay one bit memory device now this t flip flop is nothing but toggling flip flop t stands for toggle t stands for toggle t stands for toggle now let us see what happens when t is equal to 0 when t is equal to 0 when t equal to 0 that means what it will do internally it sends 0 to j and as well as k from the truth table of jk flip-flop when both j and k are zeros the output q is nothing but previous state output q is nothing but previous state okay and if you want we can take the uh, jk flip-flop truth table so that you can understand j k and q n plus 1 output 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so 0 0 means previous state qn 0 1 means 0 1 0 means 1 
and 1 1 means complement of the previous state complement of the previous state here qn plus 1 is the next state and qn is the present state otherwise you can also say qn is the previous state and qn plus 1 is the present state both are sequence of outputs okay so when t is equal to 0 that means j is equal to 0 and k is equal to 0 for such input conditions the output qn plus 1 state is nothing but the previous state qn okay this is one particular operation of this t flip flop and the second operation is when t is equal to 1 that makes that is j is equal to 1 k is equal to 1 when j equal to 1 k equal to 1 this makes the output is equal to the complement of the previous state so complement of the previous state so qn plus 1 will be complement of previous state qn bar here in the previous case it is previous state but now when t is equal to 1 it is a complement of the previous state complement of previous state complement of previous state that means when t is equal to 0 for t is equal to 0 output is previous state and when t is equal to 1 output is complement of the previous state okay this is what the toggle flip-flop operation toggle flip-flop operation in toggle flip-flop if the output to be toggled if the output wanted to be toggled then we have to give t is equal to 1 then we have to give t is equal to 1 so the t flip-flop diagram is a simple t flip-flop block representation is you need to draw a rectangle box this is t and here it is q q bar and we have a clock here raising edge clock <clears throat> this is what the t flip flop okay the truth table of this one is truth table of t flip flop is first you should consider clock t qn previous state and similarly qn plus 1 and the status of the output so clock is nothing but raising edge of the clock 0 0 so two inputs let us consider four conditions 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 okay all these cases we are going to apply when clock is having raising edge here raising edge and falling edge two types of clocks we can apply we are going to see the operation of this particular t flip flop in raising edge and now when 0 0 is there clock is having raising edge raising edge is nothing but it is an active state okay at that particular in state we need to change the output depending upon the input conditions for t is equal to 0 what i said for t is equal to 0 it is the same as the previous state so that's why the previous state is 0 so output is 0 it is no change state and again clock is having raising edge means active state and t is equal to 0 t equal to 0 means same as previous state previous state here in this case it is 1 so no change state and for t is equal to 1 for t is equal to 1 clock is having raising edge which is nothing but active state and t is equal to 1 means complement of the previous state what is the previous state actually it is 0 so it is the complement is nothing but 1 complement is nothing but 1 so it is a toggle state we can say this particular state as toggle state and in this case the last case t is equal to 1 t is equal to 1 and clock is having raising edge and then t equal to 1 means complement of the previous state so previous state is 1 and now it is 0 so it is also known as toggle state so there are only two possible states in the t flip flop one is maintaining the same state or otherwise it is a complement of the previous state okay so 
this is the truth table and what happens when clock is having other than this rising edge that means it may be having zero state or uh, level state or it may be uh, falling edge so in these three different conditions the flip flop will not respond for the input conditions it maintains the same state whatever the circuit previously has okay and now for t is equal to 0 sorry for uh, t is nothing but previous uh, what is this uh, t whatever may be the input condition of the t so it may be this one then qn is equal to 0 and qn is equal to 0 irrespective of the input conditions clock is having the 0 state so output is nothing but same as the previous state so 0 means 0 only and again here if it is 1 clock is having 0 nothing but it doesn't have any rising edge and irrespective of the input conditions when qn is equal to 1 output is also the previous state q1 this is nothing but a no change state no change state no change state occurs in totally four different cases one is for 0 0 0 1 another one is irrespective of the input conditions 0 1 okay this is the truth table of the t flip flop t flip flop is known as toggle flip flop which is used to complement the output depending upon the raising edge of the clock always it is a toggling the output that's why when you are going to operate the t flip flop and you are performing some operations on the t flip flop most commonly you will get the output as 101010 like that that means it is toggling every time it is toggling every time the previous state so that's why 101010 that type of series will come in the t flip flop okay thank you